This is my old trailer that I've had for eight, maybe nine years. It's a Gator made trailer. I think it's seven by 12 or seven by 14. It's done everything I've needed it to do, but it's beat to hell now. And the gate is just barely together. It's been welded so many times. There was a few things I didn't like. I didn't like the L channel steel construction. I think it's just bad design. It dents and bends. And if you notice, I have ratchet straps here. If you try and ratchet strap one to the other side and you're trying to secure something down, it'll actually bend and twist. But otherwise, it's been a good trailer. It's my main trailer, and we have a bunch of trailers for landscaping and for hauling heavy equipment. But I've been looking for a new one, and I seen this one at Runnings the other day. And that trailer, brand new, was I think 2,700 with tax. This one with tax was almost 3,500. And then we put a $300 toolbox on it. And that's been welded on. Normally, I wouldn't spend that much on a landscaping trailer because they just get abused like hell. But this has a few benefits that no other landscaping trailer has that I've seen. So a lot of the trailers that we have, they have metal wheel wells. And those tend to rust out. They'll rust all the way through if you use your trailer in winter. And we use ours all the time. And then another thing is these have sides that fold all the way down. And not only do they fold down, there's bolts on the bottom. They're completely removable and it's quick. So both sides can bolt, re, uh, fold down or they can come off completely. The front also folds down, but since I just welded that toolbox on, it won't weld or fold down. But we can take the pins and the bolts out and we can pull it right off. The gate is removable as well. So the benefit of having sides that come down like that or off are, let's say you want to load something from the side, a bunch of flooring or siding or something, and you have forks. One thing I don't like is this is really exposed with a really thin piece of metal. That's probably going to smash off, but... You don't have the little springs to hold the gate up. It's this really strong locking mechanism and it's incredibly beefy. The springs on that trailer, we've cracked off a few times and re-welded. I do not see that happening here. And it holds it on so tight. It's a little bit cumbersome. If you're doing a lot of houses and they're close together, it doesn't open as easy as the spring there's some force into it but that also means that your gate isn't rattling as you're going down the road another benefit of this gate it's not using that l channel steel it's using a fully tubed steel and the ends are open you can see it's not finished in there but at least you're not trapping water in there to rust now on my other trailer and other trailers, when you hold the trailer like this, that gate is twisting. This one does not twist. So it's nice and solid. You have an extra support here and an extra support there. It doesn't really line up with my trailer or my mower to give extra support on this mesh. This mesh will probably do the same thing as every other trailer if I don't put any extra support in there. They dent and then eventually you break through them. But I think this is a very well-made trailer. It's not regular paint, it's closer to a bed armor. So my truck has bed armor in it. And this trailer has something very similar. So hopefully it'll last a lot longer seems to be very well built and I'm very happy with it.